In the secret world, it is a mistake to take anyone for granted. No matter how helpful and friendly someone may appear, they could still be concealing a hidden agenda. Hello, welcome to Questions, a lore series where, rather than providing the answers, I let you judge for yourself. I only present the questions. Today I want to ask, what are the Orochi really doing in Kingsmith? Anne Radcliffe and Harrison Blake are our first contacts with Orochi. They're friendly, personable, and even helpful. They form a perfect, straight man, comic foil duo. But maybe is it a little too perfect? Despite a tendency to accidentally let slip classified information, we find out very little of what they're doing here from Miss Radcliffe. And everything she does let slip is either information we could have figured out ourselves or something that ultimately ends up serving their agenda. Is she doing this on purpose? If she is, then is Blake in on the gag? Or is he actually the stooge in this situation? We certainly won't find out from them, so let's look elsewhere. Danny Dufresne certainly has an interest in them, which is why he sends us a check on this black van. This leads us to the occult attractor device. But what were they actually trying to do with it? What were they trying to attract, and why? And where did this van come from? I mean, there's two Orochi groups in this region of the island. This one appears to have come from the bridge area, not the airport. There's also another black van in this area. Here we find security personnel, dead, with drugs standing over them. Did the drug actually kill them? Might seem obvious, but never hurts to ask. Now where did this van come from, and where was it going? Also, looking at the back, it appears something either broke in or broke out. What did this damage to the back doors of the van? We get a pretty good look at what the group at the airport is doing from both Miss Radcliffe and Danny Dufresne. They're doing autopsies on drug and importing excavation equipment. It also seems that maybe the fog isn't what's preventing communication off the island, since they have jamming towers and EMP devices. But hold on a second. Doesn't the group at the bridge have that too? After all, they did disable Danny Dufresne's plane, just like the ones at the airport did. In the opposite direction from the airport, we also go investigate the zombie hulks on Priest Island. An easy thing to miss about this mission is that Miss Radcliffe doesn't actually send us on it. We're merely eavesdropping as she talks to Blake. If she's so quick to ask for our help, why doesn't she turn to us for this one? After all, a bunch of mutant zombies right at her door. It's causing an actual problem for her. And yet, she doesn't look to us. So why doesn't she trust us on this one? So ultimately, we have to ask ourselves, what sort of agenda might they be hiding over here? And even if they're not explicitly hiding from us, what exactly are they doing here that's different from the one at the airport? Thank you for watching this video. I will provide follow-up answers on Tuesday. I recommend you also follow my series IA to B on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And if you like what we do, then remember to do all the standard YouTube stuff that everyone always asks you to do, as well as support us on Patreon. Even one dollar will show your appreciation. And if you did not like what we do, then... Exodus is coming.